to my channel, my name is Samantha Rizundu and today, very delayed, new beauty in Australia video. Oh my god, I just opened up Priceline and I've, like, I, I literally went like this. If you're new here, a little intro. Hi, I'm Samantha. I have been doing this for years now where I talk about all the things that are new in beauty for Australians. I used to do just makeup, but now I do all beauty. So I do fragrance, skincare, body, and makeup. And I kind of just streamline what I think is worth talking about. Um, if I want to buy it, if I don't want to buy it, what's your opinion? Just things that are new. And then we have a look at, so we have a look at Priceline, Sephora, Mecca. And then sometimes I have a look at Glam Radar, Beauty Bay, just depends on what they're offering. And then we go into Trend Mood just to discuss what we think we might get and kind of sift through all the things that aren't relevant to us. So I'm basically doing all the research for you and sifting through all the American and British stuff we don't get and just focusing on the stuff that we do get. So if you like the idea of this video, if you enjoy watching this video, please give it a thumbs up throughout the video. Give it a comment if you like, share with your friends who love Australian beauty and let Let's get into it. So Priceline. First of all, Priceline now has a new arrival section. They've done it. Maybe they heard all our complaints. I don't know, but there's an actual new arrivals and they're actual new arrivals. They're not just like old stock that they've put on there. I mean, there might be, but what I'm seeing at the top is definitely new. You know who's at Priceline? I just bought their fragrance discovery set. Who is Elijah? It's an Australian fragrance brand. They're stocked at um, David Jones, but um, I can't find the testers anywhere. Like I can't find them in store. So I think it was more like an online thing. Um, I wonder if these are in store. Should I have a little look? Have yeah, a little look, I'm freaking out. I'm looking at my, okay. So it looks like it's at bigger pharmacy price lines because the ones that are closest to me are big ones. So, and there's only three basically in all of Sydney that I can see. So there are selected stores. I just did the click and collect option, which means that they're in store. Anyway, hello, exciting. That's awesome because I bought the discovery set from Adore Beauty and um, they're very unisex. Apart from Nomad, which is just like the Baccarat Rouge 540, uh, which is a bit more feminine. They're very unisex and that's what I love. Maybe swing a little feminine, but generally very uh, unisex. So that is beyond exciting. I love that. And I love that they're like, there's so few Australian fragrance brands, like so few. So that's like super duper exciting. Love that. They go for $135 for 50 mil. And then some of them are 115 so my favorite ones are his her and oh they're my favorite ones oh they have 10 mil for 55 dollars as well which is awesome let's have a little look that was just at the top billy eilish number two is now available 100 mil is 105 and 30 mil is 76 and then they also have a 10 mil as well. I don't even know anything about this perfume. Should we have a little read? I'm just doing new arrivals. Usually I do like skincare, makeup, fragrance separately because they didn't have a new arrival section, but now they do. So I'm just going through that. Okay, so we have, very chaotic today. Okay, it's a woody floral. Oh, that's my favorite. Vegan cruelty free. Packaged in biodegradable cello wrap, contains eight upcycled ingredients, made from 69% renewable ingredients. Top notes are Italian bergamot, apple blossom, incense. Middle notes are papryas, the one I can't pronounce, or is it papryas? I don't know. Black pepper, wild poppy flower, and then the base is Palo Santo ebony skin musk. That actually sounds really good. 30 mil, $76, 100 mil, $100 is very well priced. I just never really been a celebrity fragrance person. I don't know why. It's not like I have a reason why. Um, I've just never really gravitated towards it. One Seed is another fragrance brand. I've not heard of this fragrance brand. They come in 30 mil. They also have a discovery set. So let's click on one of them. We've got Dreamer, Seeker, Solitude. What's Solitude? The celebration of solitude and all that we gain from some time spent alone. A wilderness, wood cabin, strong, sturdy, comforting, fresh herbs, smoldering fire. Excuse me? The earth at dusk, a golden pause, peppered with balsam and birch trees. 
comfortable in my own skin. $110 though for 30 mil. That's not that bad if we look at fragrance. Okay, we have black pepper, dry woods, tarragon, pale vanilla, ambrette seed, tonka bean, orris root. Let's see where the click and collect is for this because I would like to give you a smell. My closest is six kilometers away. The, both those brands are at one that is six kilometers away. So maybe I should go there to smell both of them if they have testers, that's another thing. That sounds great. Maybelline have a new mascara called the Falsy Surreal Extensions Mascara, Black is Black, $27.99, expensive. New Barbie collection, so here is some of it. It's currently got a free gift, I don't know what that free gift is, and it's also on sale. So we have the Barbie Smooth Whip Matte Lip Cream in Dreamhouse. The Barbie Mini Palette and Mini Butter Gloss, which is attached to the Mini Palette, I think it's about this big. Uh, two piece set for $15, but was $25. And then the Jumbo Eye Pencil, two piece for $12, was $20. And then we also have the Barbie Butter Lip Gloss for $9.59, originally, six, originally $16. And then the Barbie Cheek Palette, $15, was $25. Everything's so overloaded with Barbie that I almost am starting to hate it. Like, every brand has collabed with Barbie. It's like Barbie and Mattel has exhausted their resources. They have exhausted their advertising beyond it's beyond now it's too much be a little bit more selective it's it's too much <sighs> moving on l'oreal paris telescopic lift mascara is exclusive to priceline now 19.19 40 percent off but it usually is 31.99 it's like ten dollars off what um high end are charging whatever i'm not interested in this because the whole lash gate thing was ridiculous I'm not gonna get into it, so I'm not gonna support that. I think it was all planned, personally. I'm wearing this foundation right now, because I did film this look, and it's half price from Revlon, the Illuminance Skin Caring Foundation Creamy Natural. Uh, it was $42.95 full price, ridic, but now it is $21.47. So that's what I paid, half price. It's like an introductory price. I got the shade. 117, it is a neutral warm. The lightest shade was very pink. So this one was perfect for me if you're more neutral, leaning a little warm. But if you're pink, the other one was the lightest one. 16 colors, it's supposed to be a dupe for the Makeup by Mario new foundation, which is more like $60, $70. A um, very big difference in price with the sale, obviously. Um, I really like it. Uh, spoiler alert, really like it. <laughs> it's like a light buildable to medium coverage. It's very pretty. Astralis have a new like hydrating dewy collection going on. This is the dewy and daring, dewy and daring illuminating face glaze in moonlight. There are three different colors for $19.95. And then we have the hydrating primer for $19.95 and the hydrating spritz for $19.95. I think that's all I want to talk about or I'll be here for 10 years. Sephora. Oh, I'm going to show you the promo shot for this. Don't you switch, don't you? Damn it. I'm trying to screenshot and it like swiped when I went to screenshot. There we go. The Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in Pink Lemonade Swell, limited edition. I don't, I'm not gonna buy it because I just got one from Stalvana, gifted to me. Not this exact one, but like a full size of the original berry. <sighs> I love Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I love it to death. So I don't need this one, but if I didn't have any on hand, I think I would buy it. Let's have a look at new. Sephora's got some really nice new things. I have kind of briefly talked about this stuff on my TikTok. We have a new fragrance brand called Obvious. Why was that hard for me to say? So we have Un Oud, Un Poivre. I can't speak French, okay? Un Vervien, Un Fleur d'Orange, Un Rose. Let's click on the one that I couldn't, I got no idea is Un Poivre. 
earthy, woody, fresh, warm, spicy. Mm, perfect, mysterious perfume you can wear. The notes are on the skin are dark and bright. Atelier Parfum is also at Sephora, because that's what we're talking about. Burning for Oud. Let's take a picture of this one. A 15 ml is 60, and then 100 ml is 197. Very peaty vintage, like the great scotch whiskies with amber accord and spicy notes of sublime to oud so we've got top ginger pink berries oh heart patchouli oud cedar wood saffron oh base papryas is it papryas do one of you know if it's papryas or papryas like a prius incense and rum i don't love incense but i love everything else made in france a little bit of new tarty tart we've got a new maracuja juicy blush I'm not a huge tart fan. I'm just not. I just look at it and I think. Uh, it's a pressed powder. pH powdered juicy blush. Nah. Okay, so it looks like they've got different ones for different skin tones. New Shape Tape Radiant Concealer. Okay, that's different. There was a creamy one. This is Radiant. It's got two and a half stars. Oh, there's only one review. <laughs> What's the difference? A medium coverage radiant concealer for effortless no makeup makeup finish that won't hide your freckles or cake your face. It's not for me. Photoluminescent complex converts UV light to blue light to neutralize dark circles and brighten soft focus glowy effect. For me, if I'm wearing a concealer, it's covering. Otherwise, I just don't wear a concealer, honestly. Huda Beauty, one coat, wow, extra volumizing and lifting mascara. She knows how to advertise. She knows how to market. Because you know what? I'm a one coat mascara gal. I don't have time for two coats. <laughs> so this is something I'd be interested in. I only want one coat. Like I can't be bothered. And sometimes it gets crusty when you do two coats. An innovative brush and formula that coat and define every lash for mega curl, instant length, extra volume, and that wow effect. Jewel shaped brush with short and long bristles helps lengthen and separate like that. It's actually convincing me and mascaras never really convince me you know the sil silicon brush holds enough formula to allow just one dip of mascara that sounds good also if there's anything that you do buy i am just going to market myself i always have shoppable links down below i don't make any commission off priceline or mecca um but i do with sephora beauty bay cult beauty those ones so if you do shop with those I would love it if you click on my link first because I do make a little commission. It's only little, but it helps. It does help. Um, but only if you would like to. There is no pressure. Rare Beauty have two new eye products. We have the All of the Above Weightless Eyeshadow Stick and the Perfect Strokes Longwear Gel Eyeliner. Two for six shades of the eyeshadow stick. I think they're all shimmery though, so I'm not really interested in that. Yeah, here's a close-up. Um, for me, it's Laura Mercier all day, every day. I do like the Bobbi Brown, but Laura Mercier is re... I think they were reformulated or something, but they're reissuing their matte eyeshadow stick, and I'll be purchasing the Au Naturel. I had a mini of it. It's the best eyeshadow stick I've ever used in my life for my hooded oily eyelids. It actually stays. Um, so I'll be buying that when it comes out. You bet your bottoms I will be. I weirdly am tempted by this. I've never been tempted before by it cosmetics. I just don't really care. Um, but Bye Bye Dark Spots Concealer and Serum sounds really nice. I kind of think it's reminding me of the Cossus one where it's serum-y but high coverage at the same time. Oh, here's the Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Foundation. It's $70. And I was like, that's crazy price. But that's the standard price now, which is wild to me. I probably won't buy it because I want it to dry down. And Nicole, my good friend, told me it doesn't dry down that much. So I am not. don't know if I'm really bothered. A breathable luminous foundation that effortlessly, effortlessly builds and blends to illuminate the complexion with customizable long wearing coverage. I like the sound of it though customizable coverage layer it or shear it out that's what i like harmlessly with powders you know what i really really want it's like the first thing that i've been really wanting from makeup by mario is their new cream blushes they haven't hit aussie land yet but i'm guessing the next next launch it will that's what i really want to try because i've seen people use it 
in America and it looks incredible. Gosh, it looks incredible. Uh, this also looks incredible. I want to have a look at this one in store. I want to have a little trip to Sephora. It's been a while. Beauty Blender Bronzer Highlighter. This is like so cute. There's four different shades. Um, how do they describe it? I'm going to read it out because it's really cool. A gel cream highlighter and velvety matte pH adjusting bronzer to effortlessly sculpt your face and visibly amplify your glow. I almost want to buy this for my travel because it looks like it's not going to be massive and it's stacked. Effortlessly define your features and visibly boost your glow with this dynamic duo. The buildable velvety matte bronzer, love, blurs and it could replace my NARS that I that I lost and never got over. Uh, it adapts to your skin's pH for custom sun-kissed warmth. I don't really care about that. It's more the velvety matte and then the glowy gel highlighter. I want this to be good. Good of Beauty's new color corrector, faux filter color corrector. I can imagine it's gonna be good because their concealer is really good and it's in the same line and the actual shades look fantastic. There are five color correcting shades and the deepest one looks fantastic for deeper skin tones. Oh, blood orange it's called. It is crease, sweat and transfer proof formula. Love it. The creamy, comfortable and sheer formula. I don't need this at all, but it's very tempting to me. I just think it sounds fantastic. I've just got so many color correctors. I'm still trying to finish one tiny little one. It's taken me forever to finish because you don't need much. You only need the tiniest amount. I think that's it. Oh, and the Shark Flex Style is also at Sephora now, $4.99. I got one. I need to do the giveaway. I got a free one at the Shark Flex Style event, even though they already sent me one for review. So now I have two and one of them I have not opened and I'm gonna do a giveaway. I'm gonna do a proper giveaway and that's just gonna be the gift and then maybe second prize will be like all the makeup and skincare I've been saving. So make sure you're subscribed and follow me on Instagram, link down below, so that you can keep up to date with that giveaway because that's a massive giveaway. It's worth $500 and it's insane, it's so good. I like it more than the Dyson, I have the Dyson. Um, so that's very exciting. Okay, the new Dior blushes. It looks like they've got coral and mahogany in stock. Everything else is out of stock. The only one I really wanna try is actually cherry. They're going for 72, but I just don't know if I wanna spend $72 on a blush. If I'm honest, I think it's a little bit ridiculous. Um, so the orange one, the red one is the one that I want to try or the new rosewood because, but that's just a classic blush that you can get anywhere. If I'm going to buy it, it's going to be something unique. Um, I think that's it. I think that's all I want to talk about at Sephora. Okay. Mecca. Some new stuff. We've actually got quite a bit to talk about. So let's just, oh, let's get into it. <laughs> New Mecca Max Single Shadows. They are all very colorful and fun. Um, the, all the other neutral ones are still around, but these are just like more fun, vibrant. $10. They look so cute. I'm not going to buy any because I already have some. They're good quality if you are interested in any of those shades. Uh, the new Glow Recipe Plum Plump Gloss Balm. Wow, that's a tongue twister. That is going to be very similar to the Laneige, I think. $35. Has it sold out? Probably. It doesn't look like it has. Sunday Riley B3 Nice 10. B3 Nice. B Nice. 10% Nice Cinnamite Serum. Gosh, so that is self-explanatory. It's a niacinamide serum. I'm not going to go into details. I don't have time for it. Kylie Beauty. Is that Kylie Cosmetics? I guess it's Kylie Beauty now. Tinted Butter Balm, online only because they are not doing well in Australia. <laughs> Six shades, $29. Not interested. La Nars Laguna Bronzer now has nine shades. Bad freaking time. I love Laguna, the original shade. Let me show you all the shades. So it goes from zero to eight. It took so long. Like NARS do so well with their foundations. Why couldn't they have bronzers to match? Even their blushes, they've got good blushes for deeper skin tone, but not bronzers. I mean, 
quite crazy. Even their cream ones, uh, which is a new product, have really nice deeper skin tone shades. Um, so finally, I definitely recommend it properly now because they are catering to everyone. Um, NARS have two eyeshadow quads for a limited edition, obviously, always are. The, do we have pictures of both? Here is Laguna. It's just like their summer collection. And these go for 77 each. Uh, this one is Laguna Sunset. I'm not gonna buy either of them, but I think they're beautiful. Urban Decay 24-7 Inks Liquid Liner. Why is everything so hard to say? Nine shades. They're all like unique shades. There is a black, but you've got like white, Yellow, I have swatched them in store and they're very pigmented, like they're good. So if you are interested in like a really colorful, unique liquid liner, they look good. I do. Oh! I forgot Mecca has Olaplex and this is a product I want to try. It's the Volumizing Blow Dry Mist. It's $54 online only, but I was going to buy it from Sephora. I don't need to now. I can get it. I can get it that makeup so you know just like when i'm doing like a blowout with my sharp flex style and i want a little bit of bounce a little bit of um volume you put this in uh to 75 percent dry hair then apply the mist focus on the root and then blow dry direction hair away from the head i've been wanting like a volumizing spray mousse whatever but i haven't really known which one to get and I think I'd like to try this one. By Terry has hyaluronic lip liners, which sound good. $44, six different shades. Um, I really like By Terry. I don't need any lip liners, but I like the sounds of this one. Frank Body Hyaluronic Acid Body Serum. This smells so good. Like it actually smells delicious. My only thing with a body serum is Serum usually means you need to pull moisturizer over the top to lock it in, especially if it's hyaluronic acid. You need to lock that baby in. You can't just wear hyaluronic acid and then go about your day. You can't do it. It's a humectant. It's going to draw in, it needs to be locked in, or it's going to keep trying to draw in moisture and then by effect dry your skin out. If you don't know how to use hyaluronic acid, it can be the worst thing for your face. But if you put it on damp skin and then lock it in after with a moisturizer, it's beautiful. So you'd have to use a moisturizer after this, and I swear to God, moisturizing my body, I'm sure you guys can agree with me, is hard enough. Why am I gonna do a serum and then a moisturizer? No, I just do a gradual tan. It's a moisturizer and a tan, only one. <laughs> okay, what else have we got? I'm getting a bit sassy. I think I need to eat some lunch. Paul Smith, the clothing brand, has their home collection at Mecca. I have it in the store that I work at. They look better than they smell. This is the one that I like, the Botanist Diffuser. So it's a botany, it's very herbal, floral. Very nice. I like this color combo. And we have Daydreamer. This is, so that was the diffuser. And then this is the candle for $127. Or is that the big one? I know there are two sizes. Uh, so they're really good gift. This one's more citrus. Yeah, this one's 185, the actual the diffuser. There's four different four different ones. The yellow one is nice, and the, the green one that I showed you is nice. The others I didn't like so much. But a great gift if you've got the money. Oh no, the big candle is 438. It's a, it's a kilo though, so. Laura Mercier body collection. We've had little snippets of it at Christmas time, little sampler sets. And when I tell you it smells incredible, it's incredible. The hand creams, the body creams, incredible. Um, it's just so pricey. So it's $115 for the body cream and $120 for the bath and body oil, almond coconut. Yeah, I do like a bath and body oil. I do. It's just too expensive, Sam. Stop. The souffle hand cream, $56. Oh, maybe with my discount I'd buy that. Okay, we've got the Charlotte Tilbury Air Blush Flawless, Flawless Lip Blur. They're $49 each. Probably won't get it. It's just, I don't, I feel like I have these products already. Uh, they've got two, four, six, eight colors. They look pretty. I think they look really pretty. I just, 
I just, I just don't need it. Oh, it's online only. You know what that means? That means they're low in stock. They don't have enough stock to send out to shops. I'm guessing this is what happens with these massive international brands. They don't have enough stock by the time it gets to Australia. So it's online only or it sells out instantly because we just never got enough stock to begin with. Mac, I saw these online and we got them. This one's available. I'm going to show you the cover before I show you the inside. It's called Connecting Color Six Pan Eyes. It's the packaging. $75. This one's called Encrypted Kryptonite. And this is the inside. And then it's a new shade. And then Rose Lens. Oh my God, it's so pretty. And the cover. This is one of my favorite um, artists. I can tell by just looking at it. What's her name? What's her name? Blake. Catherine Blake. Blake Catherine. She does the most beautiful digital art. And I can see just by looking at it that that's her work. That's it. And then let's have a look at Trend Mood. There were a couple of Australian things that are brand new. Um, the Kind Collective. I've actually got this on my eyes right now they've got a new clear brow gel and I really like it it goes for $12.95 they always had the tinted they had three tinted versions well now they have a clear and I love a clear brow gel that's what I tend to use on a daily basis sometimes I use a tinted but I do just love a clear I just think it looks really clean is there anything else Emco Beauty have the I don't need to show you the bronzing drops are new I got my hands on that I'm wearing it today uh, very hard to get though, but my beautiful friend Nicole sent this to me, um, which I'm so grateful for. So this is also new from Emco Beauty. I think they go for about $35, but if you can get them on discount, if you can find them. <laughs> uh, was there anything else that's new that's Australian that's not going to be on Trend Mood? I have to use the top of my head. I want to say that's it. Let's go to Trend Mood. <gasps> Shantakai. Ton of stuff. <gasps> oh my god, we got new... Luminescent eyeshades. They're so expensive. They're like $85 for one shadow, but they are special. They are special. We've got the new fall collection, Wild Mustang collection. <gasps> Look at these colors. Oh, I don't even like horses. <laughs> I don't like horses. I don't get it. Uh, Charlotte Tilbury is bringing back an old product. This is the Beach Sticks. Apparently, they're really bad. So, did they reformulate? I don't think so. Anyway, there's those, which is cool. What's this Gisu? Golden Shimmer Glow. Original honey infused body oil, fast absorbing. I don't know when we'll get this, but we should because we sell this at Mecca. I'm trying to go through this quickly because this is going to just take forever. These Give Beauty little duo blushes. I love this idea. One is full pigment and the other one is sheer. Sheer satin and then to add a luminosity and a natural radiant shade and a natural radiant shade to pump up the vibrancy. 28 US dollars each. Um, it should be coming to Sephora soon because we tend to get their stuff on time. I think they're really pretty. I don't know what shade I would get though. I'd have to look in person and give her a little swatchy swatch. The Givenchy uh, blushes. Apparently I was watching Martina Lilly on YouTube. She's Australian, but she does a lot of international beauty. Like I tend to do a little bit more Australian. She does more luxury international beauty. Um, she said that these have actually been around for a while in Australia. Um, they look beautiful. I just think it's too messy for me. I know I wouldn't reach for it because it's like a loose powder in a blush and I just know that that would kind of, I wouldn't reach for it. Uh, Hourglass have finally added two more shades to their Veil Translucent Setting Powder. We have the Translucent Medium and Translucent Deep. It is the best setting powder. So I'm glad that they have, not glad, because I'm not happy about it. It's just like, why is it so hard? Why is it so hard? They can bring out 50 new releases every year, but they say that they don't have the budget to do deep skin tones. Just don't get me started. Oh, Makeup Forever has their HD Skin Concealer coming out. I have the HD Skin. I bought the mini foundation. I still haven't used it yet because I bought it for when I travel. I need to try it. And if I do like it, I probably get the concealer. 
because you know I love makeup forever I love it I really want that palette the cream face palette with like literally everything I want it I just need to wait for the spring sale and I might just do a big old that purchase because there's quite a few things I want to get okay I'm just gonna say I like this I like an all matte natural palette, neutral palette. This is the classic matte palette from Kylie Cosmetics. First comment, Kylie really said, let me copy and paste the Mario palette. She would have had to run that by him first because they're friends. I like this one more than the Mario one because they're softer and more neutral. The Mario one is very warm heavy in my opinion. I'm sorry, Kevin Aquan what? Brighten and highlight the face with creamy sheer Creamy formula for a glass like glow, luminous and sheer with buildable coverage, mirror like pigment and catch and reflect. Skincare infused. Oh, it's just a highlighter. I just love Kevin Aquan. Every time they bring out something new, I buy it. Cause that's just who I am. So Martina Lilly, I'm no I mentioned, I'll actually link her down below. She uh, was talking about this Chanel collection and I wouldn't, I would have just kept on scrolling but she started talking about it and i was like you know what it looks bloody beautiful the blushes look so pretty it is the full collection equinox to chanel natasha denona i so these shadows already exist this is the mini starlet is that what it's called apparently these shades exist in other palettes i don't have those other palettes i love the looks of this one a hundred percent travel with this one because it's an everyday whack her on but still look beautiful i think i'm actually going to get this one i love that the looks of it It actually kind of looks similar to my eye look today a hundred percent getting this i am so excited for this this is one of the most exciting things <laughs> the hourglass oh it's available in europe already the veil hydrating skin tint foundation i saw wayne goss review this Go watch his review. It looks so good. Right up my alley. Lightweight instantly boosts skin's moisture by 52% and hydrates all day for a dewy, healthy looking glow. Melts into the skin. Provides comfortable coverage and lasts all day. Evens out the complexion. Plumping and smoothing. Oh, I 100% getting this. Without a doubt, I just need it to come to Australia too sweet and I'll be on it. I'm getting a little bit aggressive. I think I definitely need to go have some lunch. Oh, okay. She's getting on the bandwagon. She's way late though. Laura Mercier Rose Glow Liquid Highlighter. I mean, you can just see what it is. I don't need to explain it. We've seen it. Every other brand do it. Oh, Smashbox. We get Smashbox. Always on skin balancing foundation with hyaluronic acid and aptogens. This looks like it's replacing their hydrating foundation that just kind of slowly disappeared. Um, so that's great because they have really good shade range uh, Smashbox with their foundations. Buildable formula delivers medium to full coverage, natural looking finish, even skin tone. Primer infused, water, res sweat, humidity, crease, settle and transfer resistant. That sounds quite nice. I am intrigued by that. The Kayali fragrance, the wedding fragrances, the two, looks beautiful. So they have the white and the black. This one is the Silk Santal. Yes, Silk Santal. Sparkling champagne, white freesia, black currant, lush nectarine, Pink, pink praline jasmine i really want to smell this sugared musk shame i'm already married sandalwood oak moss amber woods vanilla and then the black one white musk cedarwood sandalwood is the black one i really want to try these um elf i was hoping to be able to get them on beauty bay but they didn't have them color uh putty color correcting eye brightener six dollars each american so maybe ten dollars but we'll probably get charged 15 <laughs> Um, they have fair, light, medium, medium tan, tan deep, deep rich, and rich. Definitely for the fair for me, because I have a blue. If you have blue um, darkness, you want something pink. If you have brown darkness, you want something peach orange. FYI, just a little heads up there. Okay, we're not gonna get this. I don't think so, I hope we do. We get Boy Smells candles, they have fragrance too, but this candle, they um, the candles they have at Mecca. We sell them in the store that I work at. This is a collab with the Magnolia Bakery in New York that they're famous for their banana pudding. This is a banana pudding candle, 100% would buy this. If we get this, I'm gonna buy it. Banana, LMI, cardamom, jasmine petals, uh, cedarwood, and guaik. 
Oh my god! That would make me want to eat though, eat some sweets, and I just can't be doing that. Another thing that is new, I might actually just say it now because I'm going to release this before I do this. Uh, the e.l.f. liquid poreless putty primer. I got my hands on this from Beauty Bay. I'll link it down below if you want to buy it. You can't get it in Australia yet. So if you want to buy it using my link, I make a little commission. Um, but I tried it today and I love it. So definitely if you want this and don't want to wait for e.l.f. Australia to bring it in six months time, buy it directly from Beauty Bay. I think if you spend over $100, it's free shipping. I'm not sure hundred percent it used to be a flat rate but the last few times I've bought from Beauty Bay I've had free shipping and I've spent around the hundred dollar mark so and it's new and I got it because I got it from Beauty Bay so that's also new um that is everything I don't think there's anything else for me to talk about I can go to the middle now thank you so much for watching I'm gonna go have some lunch I've been talking way too much I'm gonna have a little rest and I hope you have a little rest. I hope you're resting while you're watching this. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.